Welcome back to Kitty Place Morrowind. I'm Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'll be your host for this episode. And again, we're still in the same recording. The guys over on Twitch are still with us, and we're going to fetch some money. And we're do going to do so by, I already told this I'm listening. to the nice people over on Twitch, we're going to do so by abusing the generosity of the Guild of Mages. I only remember the chest yes, sir. over in Balmora, which does contain stuff for us. Ah, Mage Apprentice. As you can see, well, two scrolls worth 40. We're going to take them and going yes, to Outlander. actually go to our friend Joe Basha and sell them there. Ooh, it's foggy out in Balmora. On the other hand, it has been foggy. There is a bit of lag. It has been foggy. From also you wish to speak? Yes, hello, Ravier. I have something to sell you. So we're going to go over and sell. Basically, we only need one of these. We only need one of these. Oh, I thought this was how many we want to leave over. We can sell all of these and as you can see this is already more gold than he has so I'm going to take one of the scrolls back go up to 190 and now we should have enough gold where is it there 229 I think it was was it 150 or 250 let's real quick head to another Sorry, to another store and sell some more stuff. For example, the armor. I think they don't buy the stuff that we want to sell, which is the scrolls that we don't need. No. Nope. But in within the Mage's Guild, there are also people buying our stuff. So let's really like to walk up. back inside. Of course I like to walk a fine line. I think that means something like we're dressed very good. I hope so. I hope it doesn't mean like yes, you're on what do you straight want straight on on the line between evil and good or something like that. Nope. Who's the scroll? Yes sir. seller here. I know that she's the alchemist. She's also a good friend, so she will of course Pay more. Good friend. These. Mm. <laughs> ah, that game. As the spiffing Brit tends to put it, the infinite wisdom of Todd Howard Citizen. makes it that we can't move on here because we should not. Well, let's see. Maybe Galbadir was the. Yeah, that's the scroll person. So we don't need to the, have these on us. Let's try to add 10%. Nope, 5%. There we go. And our mercantile From where do you increased. hail, friend? Uh, well, from the warm sands of elsewhere. But I need to get back. Ha. Huh? Actually, I, I really dislike... I really dislike Levitation for exactly that. I rarely used it. So now we're going to travel back to Vivek. Watch your step. Well, my step is pretty light, actually. Provided that we're not stuck in something. Which happens all the time. Oh, Ooh, I'm okay. Asking. Go ahead. There actually is another of these chests with stuff that we can sell. Well, I'm going to take the potions now and head over back to the smith. I think it was that one. No, that was the fighter skill. I am being blind, not seeing. The okay, the sign was here, so I'm not being blind. 
for not that blind. If you want something, Just now's dumb. the time to talk. Carter, let's now get that iron longsword for 150. Oh, well, how about 153? You really want to the full price. Uh -huh. So he has a quest for us, but we're not going to get it. We're going to concentrate on this one first. And now we're going to just levitate down here and see where the ferryman is. I think we will see the next ferryman. Um, when we're just before the temple district. So we could just levitate over. Yep. There on the left is one. And I think going to them, talking to them, talking to them, will just take the same amount of time than we are taking now by just levitating over. So, the puzzle canal and offering the sword. So don't worry, we're going to do the quests here in Vivek also, but for now we're going to do the temple quests up to a certain point. And then we need to figure out a way how to make some money. So the puzzle canal is that one here. It's basically all of these entrances here. And we need to find a specific point in the canal. There's always a rat. Magicka, well, that can be that can be changed. So we're looking for a place in the puzzle canal where we have a door in one of these connective tubes and now we're going to check. this goes back to the temple I think we're looking for one of these which connect us back to the puzzle canal not to the temple as you can see we're entering switch over to the local map. Here we can see where we are going. I'm going, just going to try all of these exits. And now you see this actually leads us to the level one. So it's basically, you could say it's like a teleportation maze. We need to find the correct way. And there it is. That's the correct entrance. Nothing more than that. We're just red. scared of us. A scared, filthy rodent. Tasty rodent, that is. And the center. This is where we want to be. So there is the trilith. Read the waters of his glory and the way is made clear. Oh, there's. Looks like a force field of some sort. Yeah. Read the waters of his glory. And I don't have a potion of water breathing. Okay. I'm going to drop the act. I actually know what the solution to this puzzle is. We need to drown here. And of course we won't drown and die, but instead this force field will be removed and we will be revived. Honestly, last time I played I actually had to look that up. Because I thought it meant we should take a potion of water breathing or something. 
saving, so if we actually die, if I was wrong. And there. We were revived, and not just the force field was removed, but also a bridge appeared. And now we need to talk to the Dremora crust. And I don't have a, a Dremora voice actually. Oh, yeah, that's that's our standard ability. Ah, oh, yeah, you're in the pilgrimage. I take it that silver longsword is for me. Yeah, there it is. As you see, I'm unarmed, but you're brave and gallant. <sighs> Will you give me your longsword so that I might stand a chance against your might? Yeah, take it. Yes, I accept this sword. Thank you, knighty. You have the grace of courtesy. You should read the inscription on the shrine to complete your pilgrimage. Honestly, if I was a Dremora there, waiting for pilgrims and accepting longswords all the time, I would be really bored. This is why I voiced him with a bored voice. Goodbye. Let's read the shrine on the puzzle canal. The grace of courtesy. Thank you for your courtesy, Lord Vivek. I shall speak neither hurtful nor harsh word, but shall speak respectfully, even of my enemies, for temperate words may turn aside anger. Now we have the first three of the pilgrimage P uh, pilgrimages done. So the puzzle canal actually gave us water breathing and Swift Swim, which is pretty awesome. Let's see what we need to do next. The Mask of Vivek, the Shrine of Justice. Near the altar is Vivek's Ash Mask. In the days of fire, when Dug of Ur first crept back into Red Mountain and awakened it, Vivek led refugees here as they fled the ash and blight. Weary, they rested here a while. When Vivek awoke, he found himself and all his followers encased in casts of grey ash, frozen like a sleeping statue and unable to free himself or help his people. Vivek was filled with despair. Vivek's tears weakened his ash cast. He tore the ash from his perished followers, breathed life into their lungs and cured them of the blight. This is Vivek's heroism. His tender heart provides strength when his might fails. The Shrine of Justice is guarded within the Gnesis Temple in the village of Gnesis, northwest by the road from the town Aldrun. When you address the shrine, it is customary to leave a potion of cure common disease as a token of your respect for justice. Suitable potions may be purchased from the temple. Homemade potions are not acceptable. And the actual reasons why homemade potions are never acceptable is that they have different item IDs basically than the potions that you can buy. So the scripting language of the, the, the scripting system of the game simply does not recognize them. Where is the exit? Oh, there is the exit. It is that one. So let us get back. And we have enough, we have enough bread to fry. Let's the electrocute rather. And more meat for us to eat. Or sell. Let's get back out of here and fly back up. So Aldrun, we've never been there manually and it is far far away. Gnesis is over here. So now we're going to find lots of more places. We're going to visit Gnesis and Aldrun so we can teleport back. Is there no there is not someone who can no ferryman. 
You're wandering very aimlessly. I hope you're not mentally ill or something. Because mental illnesses are not to be taken lightly. If you have problems with your mental health, you should really go and see a professional. Trust me, I do have my own experiences with that topic, having suffered from a burnout and still being in treatment. Let's head to the foreign quarter. And I'm very glad that I have the therapist who also helps me in these times. So now we're heading, as we want to go north, we're heading to Balmora with the Silt Strider, if that's possible. If it's not possible directly, we're going to do it indirectly over Sedanino or something like that. Yeah, we can directly go to Balmora. We make a special trip just for you. Same low price. Quick save and head north out of the city. Now look at those two people. Now let's just... Of course, that's... That's a very interesting way to travel. So if you're doing this over these distances, of course we could now... One button for the map. Could now do the easy route. But to be honest, the reason why I'm doing this, why I'm actually walking manually to the place once, is because I want to see what the game has in store on the road. So I'm going to be sticking to the road. There is another rat for us. As you might have noticed, also we're no longer using fatigue while we're walking. This makes this, of course, a very apt spellcaster and increases the chance that we get, or increases, yeah, the chance that we do the spell right. And if we do the spell right, if we don't fail to cast the spell, we will actually get a level in the spell. So let's see what the game is in store for us over here. This is Caldera. Caldera, I guess is the word. And there is also the marker for the road to Aldrun, which is good because once we hit or once we visited that city. And there we lost the teleporting, uh, the levitation. But once we visit that city we will be able to, sorry I'm a bit confused as the marker for a rune is no longer there, I guess I'm going just go, going to cross the city. Um, the rule that I've set for myself says that we can from then on teleport back and forth, which the saves us lots of time. Oh, I didn't know that you're stating what you're doing all the time. But I'm pretty sure that you'll be a very tasty prey. So we've been in Caldera. As you can see, there is a major skill, which means we can at least teleport back and forth here now. And we've already been to the major skill in Aldrun, but I, as you might remember, I didn't leave the guild hall because we haven't been to Aldrun yet. Or hadn't been, I think is the correct form to use here. So let's see, there is someone over there. Let me just drop a quick save. So we can be sure what happens there. Ah, I remember that part. And I'm going to meta game a little bit here. So this naked guy is going to ask us for a quest. Um, he, he will claim that all his stuff has been stolen and he, then he will follow us until we find the thief and, to, and he's pretty strong and uh, to be honest I don't want to end up either fighting him or fighting 
the other person who will claim that he tried to rape her and she basically just waits for an apology which he will never give so basically we have to choose to either kill her or him and to be honest my sense of morality says that we should kill him and I'm not strong enough to do that so I'm not going to start that quest Aldrun, Main Road and Mises so there we go there's another person that could actually also already be the woman that he tried to rape. I'm going to do a quick check. If she tells that story, then we know who she is. Ah, making a deal. I think she is the same. If you the, want something, now's the time to talk. As the other highwayman. So let's just not talk to them. I know that's kind of weird in this game that we can just avoid talking to the people and then we don't get robbed. So I guess the road goes on that way. So even if the road will diverge, I'm going to go to Aldrun first because this will kind of give us a fast travel location. Of course the road just did diverge, but I'm of course I mean when we have signposts pointing to Eldrun and Gnesis. I will go to Eldrun first. So this is a very mountainous area. I tend to forget that the game does not stop walking when I straight left and right with the auto run feature. And there's the next signpost. I pr already prepared the list of mods that I'm using, which I will be posting. There is Aldrun and Kinesis that way. But this is actually a mod that we can read the signposts that way. Yes, I am avoiding all the quests where we need to fight. And I think this again is some place where we need to fight. Dropping a save and talking to that uh, lizard people. Greetings, um, greetings, traveler. Russia wishes you well and thinks you can maybe help him with some pressing business. Ah, okay, I know that quest. Quest. Let's not do it now, but later. We are currently busy. We are doing the temple. The pilgrimages, that is, for the temple. So this is one of the quests for the um, Daedra. Basically, we are to deliver clothing for him to some place. Another naked person. Mm, anywho. I'm going to go these routes at some other time. And when I do so, since it won't be the first time, I'm actually going to cut these out of the episodes. There's another tasty red over there. Two or three hits. Yep, three this time. And we take the meat with us. So we must be pretty close to our rune now. And once we are and we did the pilgrimages, I'm actually going to start the quests that we just kind of left on the way, where I know that I won't immediately die. On the other hand, I never played a mage before, so it might be that actually the spells are so powerful <laughs> that we can just do the quest anyhow. And there is it. That's that in the distance, within the fog. That's Aldrun. So let's head in there and then head on towards Gnesis. I 
the storms. Just look down so the sand doesn't fly into our eyes. I know these sandstorms from the desert. I'm going to dispose of the corpses just so they are not laying around here. And sorry that I didn't react to the people in the stream. I'm not going to do that, do that that often because I'm also recording for YouTube. But warm greetings, Jude. I hope I didn't miss Aldru now because it's very hard to see through that storm. There's another tasty rat, which we're going to oh, look so cute. That is, if we have enough magicka. I just had the magicka and I should have cut the this stuff. Very good. There it goes. Yes, we're a mighty mage, which is unable to just cast gotcha. a simple spell. Well, we are a mighty mage in training. Okay, let's go over. Yeah, I just posted the curse. It seems like we actually got a little bit lost. That's what those sandstorms do to us. I think I got some sand in my eyes. Uh, I really hate that stuff. I mean, that's why I went from the desert over, I think it's over there, over to the, no, that's also just mountains. Check my map. Okay, it should be kind of in that direction. North. Oh, the st these sandstorms are pretty common. So what I wanted to say is, that's why I traveled from uh, my home actually to the Imperial province, where I then got, sadly got caught, caught stealing a horse and was carted off to this forsaken place. So back to the st sandstorms. I hope I would never have them again, but it seems like the sandstorm is subsiding. Which is good. Let's restore our fatigue a little bit. We're also in a fight, which means I should restore our magicka. Where is the enemy? There is the enemy. Fire! Or destruction skill, destruction skill, way higher, so we will be able to actually kill these easier. Mighty mage, as I said, needs to learn some alchemy skills, right? And since the alchemy menu in this game is so weird, I am going to do the alchemy stuff off camera, also in the future, and 
here comes the next storm. The storms are way more common here than they are back home. And I think I just walked in circles. Yes, I did. I'm pretty sure that it's that 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 we saw the towers of the city that way. At least another sign. But yeah, this looks like the towers there in the distance. And the Silstrider, I can make out the like the outline of the Silstriders. Yeah, the sign says Arun. Safety from the storm. Here we come. The towers of the city entrance. It's, it isn't far anymore. We're going to make it. All that sand in my fur. It's really annoying. We've reached Aldrun. Let's quickly head into the guild hall. Oh, luckily, the major guild hall is right next to the entrance. So from now on, fast travel to Aldrun is possible. Oh. The insides. You don't know how happy I am to see you. <laughs> all that sand. I need to get out. Get all that sand out of my fur. I'm going to retreat into a chamber and clean myself thoroughly. Training for the right price. Yeah. This one seems to be occupied. Mm -hmm. This one does it. Let's close the door, give us some privacy while we clean ourselves. And I'd say, I'd say we clean ourselves until the next episode. And again, for those on the Twitch stream who weren't there when I ended the last episode, I am recording for YouTube also. And this marks the end of the roughly 30 minute ep YouTube episode. And again, I'm going to roll the 2d6, which determine how many days it will take until the next episode will, like, will be aired. And with this, I don't just end the recording of this episode, I actually end, also end the stream. So. I'm going to say bye-bye and let's roll the dice.